Earlier today, we met with some of the people who know Joseph Sistone best, and they talked about the legacy he leaves behind. In 2009, newly appointed Bishop Joseph Sistone was met with cheers as he introduced himself to mid-Michigan. It will be an adjustment for me uh, to leave my family and friends and what's so familiar, and so I'm really great. It, it was very uplifting. Sistone was the sixth bishop for the Saginaw Diocese. He made it a tradition to sing for guests at the annual Bishop's Ball. Or you might have found him having dinner at the Knights of Columbus. Sistone also played a role in revitalizing a historic church in Saginaw. The New Look Cathedral of Mary of the Assumption opened its doors last Easter. We're stabilizing ourselves, which helps to stabilize the community in general. Sistone also had to deal with sexual abuse allegations against Father Robert DeLand. It's been distressing uh, because the people... The people lose, have a mistrust. They start to lose trust. They don't know who to listen to, who to believe. In January, Sistone was diagnosed with lung cancer. Today, Sistone lost his battle with the disease at his home in Saginaw Township. It's been an emotional day for those at the Saginaw Diocese like Father Bill Rakowski. A short time ago, he took a moment to reflect on the legacy Sistone leaves behind. I think it's his strong leadership, which was able to bring about the planning for tomorrow's parishes. It was a very, very difficult thing to do, and yet it was something that had to be addressed in the diocese for a long period of time. And uh, not only was he willing to do it, but Bishop Stone was somebody who led with a great sense of consultation. And obviously, with this passing just being hours old, the Saginaw Diocese did not have any comment or did not say when they might find a replacement for Joseph Sistone. Reporting in the Continuous News Center, James Felton, WNEM-TV5.